All right, now on to Bestiary League, which is our 15th league. So it introduced the final Elder encounter, which is Uber Elder. The in-game encounter is a single most difficult challenge Path of Exile currently has to offer. Good luck. Added the Elder Orb, obtainable after collecting all of the Shaper's Memory Fragments. The up Elder Orb can upgrade any map on your Atlas to Tier 16. Added 27 new unique items, 16 of which are exclusive to the Bestiary Challenge League. Added 27 new Faded Unique Prophecies. Xana Mods. We had Onslaught, Bloodlines, Torment, Fortune Favors, Brave, Nemesis, Beyond, Parandus, and Harbinger. So in Bestiary, uh, players are given access to nets that can be dropped normally or can be bought from Einhar. You can throw the net at any catchable living monster, default hotkey V. Catchable monsters are marked with an icon on their life bars. Nets are not used until they are actually thrown at a monster. They have a cooldown and a cast time, so being stunned while throwing a net will interrupt it. Once the net is thrown, the target monster cannot be killed and will be stunned for up to three seconds. If a capture succeeds, Einhart will teleport the beast away to the menagerie. The lower the monster's life is, the higher the chance of success. If a capture fails, the monster will recover a percentage of its life and become enraged. You cannot throw a net at it again until it has stopped enraging. So that mechanic was really poorly received. People did not like the nets, uh, mainly because we were one-shotting most of the yellows in some of the rares. And so you basically didn't even have a chance to interact with the league mechanic for the most part from a good majority of builds. Beast crafting is something that it introduced and is probably the most underutilized aspect that we have. Um, so I wanted to cover the, the big ones to look for. So to create an imprint of a magic item, which is basically an eternal orb, you need a Krayak Crimarial. To create a fully linked six socketed rare, you need a Saquon Vulture. To create two orbs of binding, you need a Krayak Sand Spitter and a Krayak Shell Crab. To create three orbs of Horizon, you need a Ferric Frost Hellion Alpha and a Ferric Gargantuan. To add a, Ma a Crusader, you need a Ferriac Goliath and a Krayak Maw. To add a Hunter, you need a Krayak Watcher and a Krayak Maw. To add Redeemer, you need a Femoral Queen and a Krayak Maw. To add a Shaper, you need a Femoral Devourer and a Krayak Maw. To add a Warlord, you need a Femoral Scrabbler and Krayak Maw. To add Elder, you need a Saquon Blood Viper and a Krayak Maw. To add a prefix remove a suff suffix, you need Freak Wolf Alpha. And then to do the opposite, remove add a suffix, remove a prefix, you need Freak Lynx Alpha. To open the portals to the various dens, you need a Kreak Spider. To get the Creations Crove, which is the Crab Boss. To get a uh, Feral Den, you need a Ferric Tiger Alpha which is the cat. For Feminus's lair, which is the spider, you need a femoral hybrid arachnid. To get Sequal's roost, which is the bird, you need Sequal's rex. Then to reroll mod values, both implicit and inexplicit on a rare item, you need a ferric frost hellion alpha. And to split an item into two, with half the mods on each item, you need a Phenomal Plague Arachnid. Now, one of the things that would make beast crafting substantially better, if they would take the four zones, because you have um, a crab, you have your tiger, you have your spider, and you have your bird. If you took each of the four quadrants of the map, and you dedicated each of those to one of the following. It doesn't matter, it can rotate, whatever. It would make it where bestiary would be significantly better because then you could kind of target farm what you were looking for. It would also be really nice in lieu of that is to give each bestiary family, because if you go into the menagerie, you can see there's different families. 
If they would give like each family five specific maps, it would also be really, really good because it would give you a way to farm for what you want in Beastiary while still making it where you're not necessarily guaranteed the best one. Another thing I would I would really push and this is going to be become brought up a few more times uh, as, as we progress through leagues. But I really wish they would have some kind of a decaying system. Specifically with like B series in game. So if you've done a thousand B series maps. I feel like you should have one of all of these by the time you hit a thousand. Like you should have seen. M well, maybe not. Plagued Arachnid and Crack Chimerial. Maybe not those two. And maybe you see one of the bosses, but not all four. But I think you should get... You should see a lot more of the in-game. And I think this is a problem that really came out of the leagues getting so much more complex. Is the in-game stuff for B-Series is really fun to play. However... Most people never experience the in-game B-series stuff because it's so hard when everything is randomized and there's no path to target farm. It's very hard to get the specific items that you need to do what you want to do. And you can run b series on every map for like two or three days and, and not see a single of uh, the bosses, which is probably an issue. Right, if you're going to run a lot of bestiary, you should see these 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 specific mods come up. Maybe not all of them, but you should see them come up. And it's a shame that more players don't get to interact with it, especially because beast crafting is so underrated and so undervalued because it's such a good mechanic. Like it's it's fantastic and it's aged and scaled so well that it would be great if more people actually interacted with beast crafting in, in general. Um, so a link to Beastiary League, a link to Beastiary the mechanic, and a link to beast crafting. The menagerie is also going to be in the Beastiary as well if you want to look up more information regarding that it was well received after the removal of nets which was an epic fail and that is the reason einhardt has the voice line do you not have nets exile um one is it is poking fun at blizzard because this is right after the what do you not have phones when talking about diablo immortal um but originally you couldn't kill a beast instead you had to get it to low life then threw an appropriate level net at the enemy. With most builds able to one-shot yellow beasts, it was a giant problem. Added imprint beast area orb to make trading of beasts easier and more secure, as there is quite a bit of scamming involved before this changed. Beast crafting is underutilized by the majority of the community and has some very powerful crafting options. And it's a shame, right? Like, in a perfect world, we would see a lot more beast, like high-end bestiary stuff than what we do. The problem with the the RNG gating is without a deterministic level, without like a hard cap number, it makes it where, like if they set it to 4, uh, 400, and 400 bestiary maps, you're guaranteed to see a boss. It doesn't matter which one. And then within, you know, a thousand or maybe two thousand, you're guaranteed to see one of the two really rare beast area crafts. Like those are still very big numbers and those aren't. Those are very, very like that's a lot of time and effort dedicated. But if they would make it where if you do put in that kind of time and effort, you're guaranteed the reward it would feel better like there's a reason that players like being able to target farm from specific bosses is even if it wasn't the best chance it gave them an outlet to pursue 
And even though you might get the same odds of dropping it off of, you know, a normal rare monster now, it would still be nice to have a, a dedicated path. Like, if you really want a Chevron item, Chevron has a four times multiplier uh, for all of her items. So that means that you're going to get a lot more crappy Chevron uniques, but you could also get a really good Chevron unique. Something like that, I think, would help as well. Like, just levels of deterministic, especially since you don't see bestiary every map anymore, and I don't feel the implementation has ever matched the more complex league mechanics because a lot of them require you to use the mechanic over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over to feel as good as it did in league. And the problem is, is we don't experience them at that rate post league. So they're designed really well for the league itself. But when it's pulled into the core game, the design suffers because you're missing a, a huge portion of the content that was really cool in League. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, Exiles.